All right, here we go. Today's topic. I love Jonathan Majors. There was something in me that mm. felt, I bet he has a white girlfriend. And when Antoinette revealed to me <laughs> that he was <laughs> in Sweden somewhere with a blonde hair. Blonde hair. White woman. I don't celebrate that. I'm not going to celebrate the children that they have. <laughs> oh, my God. Gonna, it doesn't make me be like, yes. Like, you know, some people together, you're like, I love them together. That's how we all got here. A white woman and a black man. Help me through this. I don't have a logical answer. And what I get agitated about is because it's, it's commercially trendy for people to be in interracial relationships. It's become a presentation of diluted blackness. Like, why aren't you happy to see like all these mixed families and Cheerios commercials? No, because the storytelling is not our, it's not a mixed story. The mm. storytelling is this is what's digestible for white people. I don't mind seeing black women with white men. It gets even more toxic oh, for me. Oh, you're toxic. What? I don't. The one? Hold on. <laughs> you know what makes this even funnier? What? They're all mixed children. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ah, that's actually amazing. Bruv, you looking like you... Yo! Hey, listen, a mixed children? That's beta! But that's what she... The beta. beta! But that's what she said. Beta, baby. That's what she said. That's the reason why... That's when, when she said... Yeah, but I, 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 I didn't think about it until I like, looked at it and like, wait, they're all mixed. They're all mixed. Okay, they're yeah. all of them light-skinned. I thought she was sarcastic. Okay. And I'm like, well... <laughs> okay. It's funny that this is coming from mixed women. Of yeah, all. but the thing, the thing right. is, as well as that, there's a, that's that sentiment that they're okay with black men being with white women, and not okay with black women being with white men. I've heard black men say that. What? That that is what what she said. That it's weird seeing. Yeah, that he has a problem whenever we see like a black woman with a white man. He has they feel some type of way, and I'm like, man, you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. You're a whole ass weirdo. Uh. You go out with a white girl. Yeah, but that's okay. But the, the but she can't go out with You're a weirdo. If you're okay with one, not okay with the other. When we talk about men women, like just like you did, you're a weirdo. You're a fucking weirdo. Yeah. If you don't like to see black men or with a white woman and you're a mixed kid, you're a fucking weirdo. Is that self hate? You're a weirdo. I think you got issues. I think there's some mixed kids who f have like an identity crisis. Yeah, and definitely. sort of feel like they belong. Sometimes they go the extra mile. That's why you see in a lot of like civil rights movement. Even though mixed people are like such a small minority, you see them at a lot of the forefront of a lot of shit. Just because it feels like they're overcompensating sometimes. Like, bro, no, no, I'm really bro, black. Bro, 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 you gonna know bro, this, bro, bro? We put out a video. What happened? And a girl was uh, hitting on her on her, on her white conservative father. She was mixed. Oh yeah, yeah, she was comp. Yeah. Her, her billionaire, white conservative. She walked that shit back too after she got all that backlash. The thing, after talking with a lot of having a lot of discussion with mixed <laughs> kids and stuff like that, yeah. like they tell me, they tell me that that it's part of like them growing up. One girl that I know was like on my back about like having a a white girlfriend, and she was on my back about that shit. And I was like, but you're light skinned. That means it's somehow somewhere along the way. Yeah. No, my mama black. I saw her mom. Her mom light skin. Mm. Maybe mean that from generation to generation, y'all only hang out with house niggas. But at some point, something happened to one of your black ancestors. Is that where the hate's from? I don't know. She won't celebrate you. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not getting celebrated. Oh bro. no, no, I'm not getting. Your I, kids, they not gonna be celebrated. No, like I wanted to have a celebration. Who's she talking about? She talk, was she talking about Pharrell? Some black famous person is with a white woman in Sweden. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna celebrate that person. Then, <laughs> then don't, just don't, don't, don't. You know, don't. You, know, you know the weird thing is like. But you shouldn't be celebrated either. Then, happy birthday to me. no. Stop celebrating, bitch. <laughs> the weird thing with with blackness is like it gets gatekeeped a lot. For example, you're black until you say something they don't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you parody what they say, they're like, yes, my African brother, blah, blah, blah. You say, uh, it's because you're African, and that's why. Or if you grew up in the suburbs, oh, it's because you were away from the hood for too long. Or if you talk with a certain accent, it's like, oh, you're trying to be white. Oh, you lived in Montana. There's not enough things. That's why you talk the way that you talk. Oh, uh, you did what? You went away for a few years? Seems you forgot your blackness while you were gone. Um, 
And so there's all kinds of ways. You dating a white woman? Huh? You not black? Right? There's all kinds of ways that folks get gatekept out of like any kind of heritage or cultural group or whatever it might be. And so it's interesting at the drop of the dime. It's like you are until you make one decision they don't like. And then it's like, no, you're not anymore. Right? It's one of those things that makes you question over time. Like, what does it really mean to be black? Yeah. How do you even get admission to the group? What? And is that admission even constant? And who really gets to decide? And is it really that much of a community? It's not monolithic. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same across all boards. So what really ties all these people to be together? And the truth is, there's not really much. We kind of understand it, but it's very nebulous. It's amorphous. It doesn't have a shape or consistency. It's this thing that we've kind of linked up people over. But if you, here's the thing. If you went up to most black folks, you ask them, like, what are, how are you black? They're going to have different responses, uh, right? They're going to have, what does it mean part of you? But everyone's going to have a bit of a different thing. They're right. going to have different reasons. So it's, it's a very difficult thing to own and to feel like, all right, I get it. And so when I hear this speech, this just feels like some people want to be part of the in-group and they're finding some reason why you're not part of the in-group. Oh, you dated a white one. It's like, well, bitch, you're mixed. You, Why do you get to be part of it? And a black man who's fully black, like, how does that even make sense? Now that I, I subscribe to that. But how is a mixed person? Going to be the one to tell a black person that they're like lesser than or whatever it might be. It's yeah, like, bitch, you're not going to celebrate. It's like, bitch, who are you? You you get, no, <laughs> like, you get like, no say. You are not celebrating the very thing that led to your existence. Huh? What are you talking about? It's like you would be off and poof, vanish like Houdini if that black man wasn't doing it. So wh why do you have us? It's so weird. And so honestly, over time. My opinion on this, like a lot of these discussions, has gone to the back. You know what I think now? Hey, Amen. Man. <laughs> That's what I think now. Hey, Amen. Hey, hey, hey. What did you say? I'm not black. Okay, whatever. Uh, you know, sure. Okay. What, what, whatever you want. What? Yeah. What, whatever you want. What, what, do you, what do you want? That's really what. That's really comes that what it comes down to. And, and I, I told you my position about that a lot of times, right? Because of, of what I. Or, what happened when I go out and stuff because like that? Because you're... Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. 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 That's you. Don't clap your hands. That's you. Don't, don't, don't clap What do you mean? No, because that would be celebrating me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm celebrating the moment. Yeah. That's you. But right the, now, if you watch it, you know that's him. Go ahead. Talk, talk, talk that shit. No, no, that, that's the thing. So, yeah, you, huh? you know how... Yeah, I, I get, I got the backlash and stuff like that. Like even when I go out, even before this YouTube thing and stuff like that. Oh, yo, there's whole blogs about us. And this black woman, oh, yeah? flower or something. I don't remember what the name of that blog yeah. is. Oh my god! It don't matter how many white women I slap, they, they just don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> but at some point, after all this, what what can you say? You don't. I'm not trying to like change anybody's opinion. No. But not only that, that opinion is goofy. It is. It's goofy as fuck. But what is nothing else I would expect. I would expect nothing else from that. You know what I mean? It's like, whatever. That's goofy. I won't throw out everything that they said. I think what they said about like makes people being like commercially viable is very true. Like sometimes they, yeah. like, the, the black people they cast are like people with Eurocentric features rather than people with like real black features, Absolutely. traditionally speaking. So there's definitely an element to that that I think rings true. But it was just interesting hearing them talk about an individual and his choice of who he dates and be like, I'm not going to celebrate that. But I'll celebrate black women who date out. It's like, okay. Yeah, because you got it, Queen. Yeah, yeah. get yeah. your bag. Yeah. If these ain't shit niggas. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go get with white women. Get you a rich white man. Get you. That's, That's cringe, goof. Bro. I actually want to know from the black men who are watching or just the black folks. Do you guys not feel tired of this conversation? Do you feel like it's one that's still really important to have? Like, should we be deciding who we celebrate or who we don't? Which I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cringe. But to me, that's my opinion. I don't want to color yours. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Maybe we're off base. I understand what a hurt is. I do understand where it's from. Like how miserable, miserable. That's not petty. That's miserable. Mm. Do you got to be that whenever someone is celebrated, you're gonna turn around and the first thing you do is Google search to see if they if their wife is white, and if they is, ooh, Twitter fingers, Twitter fingers.